nearly 50 years ago, a former Webster teacher promised his students they would reunite for today's total solar eclipse. 13 Wham's Natalie Calzatoni was there for their celestial reunion today. Natalie. Karen, today's gathering was nearly 50 years in the making. Patrick Moriarty had hundreds of people come to his house today to enjoy the spectacle in the sky. It's not about the eclipse. It's about you guys being here to share this time with my family, me and each other. Patrick Moriarty was 22 years old in 1978 when he promised his earth science students that they would reunite for the 2024 total solar eclipse. So I said to the kids, hey, why don't you just go ahead and circle that eclipse and we'll get together. And after I did that, I did that for the next 16 years uh, with all of my classes that I taught Earth Science to. Moriarty says he created a Facebook page to spread the word, but a lot of students remembered what he said in class. More than 100 people showed up to the Moriarty Eclipse gathering on April 8th. It's not about the eclipse anymore to me. It's all about the reunions. Kevin Thompson and Chuck O'Brien were in Moriarty's class together back in 1982. They say they are grateful Moriarty kept his promise to reunite. Definitely the longest homework assignment in the history of any teacher. <laughs> he wasn't just a great teacher, he was an inspirational teacher. 1982, there we go. Another 1982 student, Nick Stathis, drove five hours from Westchester for the gathering. He says Moriarty inspired him to become an earth science teacher. It's a tribute to both the eclipse, but also the power of teaching. Both Mr. and Mrs. Moriarty affected a lot of people. While clouds covered the view of the eclipse in Rochester, this group took joy in being together again for the once in a lifetime event. Everybody got so quiet and just let the, let the environment around them take over. And it just seemed very magical. Mariotti joked that he would hold another viewing party for the next total eclipse scheduled for 2044 in Wisconsin. When I asked him if there's any truth in the joke, he said, who knows? I wasn't sure about this one. Karen.